Hello everyone, I'm going to read the Gospel for this sixth Sunday of Easter. From the Holy Gospel according to John, Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. I shall ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever that spirit of truth whom the world can never receive since it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him because he is with you, he is in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come back to you. In a short time the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day, you will understand that I am in the Father and you in me and I in you. Anybody who receives my commandments and keeps them will be one who loves me. And anybody who loves me will be loved by my Father and I shall love him and show myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So I will, uh, I will try to say a few words about this Gospel, but also thinking ahead, looking ahead. This coming Thursday is the Feast of the Ascension, and then there will be the seventh Sunday of Easter, and then Pentecost Sunday. And this gospel has to be read in this way. It's like when you take a train and you enter one of the wagons, but the key wagon is the one in front. The one at the head of the train is taking everyone. And these Gospels, they are like different wagons, and there is a big one at the beginning that is bringing us somewhere, that is leading your life, all your life, in one clear direction. What is it? These Gospels, they are very special because they are the last words of Christ. Christ is speaking these words at supper with his disciples, and is not anymore teaching like before. He's not doing miracles like before. He's doing something uh, of a different genre. Christ is making them Christians. It's a work. And that's what he wants to do with us. He wants to make of us Christians. And to do that, he begins to use some key building blocks, some key ingredients. And he begins to put a lot of this. And that's why when you listen to these Gospels, you begin to detect some key ingredients. And you hear it, eh? Father, and the word Father, the word uh, Spirit, the word uh, Love. And then if you pay attention, another word appears and is uh, Word, word. And this is very important because what Christ is doing is making us Christians and then he says, but I'm giving you all you need to be a Christian. I'm giving you myself. I'm giving you my Father. I'm giving you my Spirit. But not of the world. Don't become of the world. 
Don't look like the world. Don't mix with the world. That ingredient, the world, Christ puts it into these long Gospels as a sort of contrast. It's like when you do chemistry. Uh, you put uh, a chemical to show the contrast. Or when you, for instance, look at the sky, or you look at colors, like, like this, you know, the, the, the color appears because it's in contrast with another color. And Christ in these Gospels is speaking of Christians, and then he puts the world to show the difference, to show the contrast. What is this world? It's not the things we see. Eh? It's not the trees or the rivers or the people. Eh? When Christ in John, in the Gospel of John, uses the word, the word world, what he's saying is everything that is not of God, everything that is not of heaven, everything that is not of him, that is in contrast with him. And Christ is saying, I'm going to give you an advocate that is someone who will defend you against this world spirit, this world tongue, this world mentality, this world attitude, things that are not of God. I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit, the advocate, to defend you. But then, and I checked, because I'm not a lawyer, but I checked that the word that Christ uses, paraklitos, paraclete, it's true, it means uh, an advocate, but in fact, is not the advocate that defends, is the advocate that uh, accuses, is the prosecutor, I'm told. That is, uh, the Holy Spirit not only defends us from becoming of the world, but also accuses what in us is of the world. That's his job, is to show to me what you are doing is not of God. The way you just spoken to your wife, to your children, is not of heaven. The way you are relating with your parents is nothing to do with me. It's nothing to do with God. That is the whole gift of the Holy Spirit, to defend you and to expose you, eh, to make you in contrast with God. And why is he doing all of this? So that we become like God. This is the whole gift of this journey. This is the good news. And these days they are becoming more and more concentrated. And that's why we need to pray to the Holy Spirit, to ask the Holy Spirit, defend me from becoming less like God and expose in me what is not of God so that I may not be cheated and you may not be cheated and we can complete uh, these 50 days of Easter, really praying to the Holy Spirit so that we can become exactly like God, exactly with His Spirit, looking like Him. Let us ask all these gifts uh, and see you next Sunday. And on Thursday, we begin to pray intensely to the Holy Spirit, our Advocate. Thank you.